Hi there, everybody. Um, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to use some of the functions on the token generator on the Fateful Force website. Um, so this is the token generator here. Uh, you can see you've got your preview and your working area. So all you simply have to do is just drag the image into that area. In this case, we've got our Knight Perseus. Um, and you can just align it in whatever way works well with the preview. Yeah, like that. So um, with metallic borders, we have a pre-set metallic border here, which is like a rose gold. So if we click on that, you'll be able to see in your preview that the rose gold is present there and it looks great. Um, but also we can use different uh, colors as well while tinting this rose gold. So say if we don't want to use the, the rose gold and we want to use silver, um, we can drag the slider over to the silver area and you can see that that's updated. Um, you can also use hex codes as well. So um, these are all really handy too. So you can type in any sort of hex code you want and that will pop up there. So that's a, a green version. And for say that doesn't uh, suit your needs, that green, and you want to just sort of move it across, you can also use this slider to change the color and get that color just right. So, um, and move it down on the darker side of the scale to get that sort of dark cobalt color. Um, so that's that. Uh, the next part I wanted to talk to you about was using the set custom border and set custom mask um functions so what i'll do is i'll just clear this workspace so you will have your own uh custom borders and custom masks sometimes you can purchase these sometimes you want, might want to make your own um, whatever they are they should have both the border and the mask present um, so i'll just show you um, what these should look like so it should look something like this so here's our border on the left hand side and our mask should be on the right hand side there. So I'll just take it away, this gray box away. So usually it's that they're, they're white, these, um, these masks. So I've just put the gray box there so you can actually see it on my screen. Um, the mask actually crops out all of the area you don't want to see on the image. So for example, um, when we use the night, all these bits in gray on the side here where you can see my cursor, they will be cut off. And if we were to move the border over on this side, I'll just bring this to the front. You can see it's a perfect fit for that. So once you have your borders there, we'll go back to the generator. So we just hit select custom border. I've got those ones I prepared earlier here. Oh, we might need to put an image in first. Ah, and there you've got, we've got our custom border. We already had the tint already colored from the previous use. So that's why it's tinted uh, that uh, standard color. And then we've got set custom mask. So we want to see, I'll just go back. See, we want to cut off this area around the sides. So that's what the mask effectively does. It masks it out. So set custom mask. And there we go. As you can see, it's transparent on the side. So again, uh, we'll be able to change these colors of the border to whatever color we want. Originally it was white. We might want to make it you know, um, a darker color or a gray or a silver, um, just like that. So that concludes the uh, tutorial on how to use the custom border and custom mask functionality um, and obviously how to make those metallic pre-selected uh, borders work for you best.